Do you remember this trailer? It was at this point, I was yelling so loud, like, I can't even explain it, like, this is probably how loud I was yelling right here. <laughs> Except mine was more out of excitedness and being hype, you know, not really being afraid and fearful. But anyways, I was extremely hype, extremely happy, and extremely loud after that trailer. However, after that, soon after that, Square Enix released the English trailer and well... Like, I can't even explain to you how, like, just lost for words I was when I saw this trailer. I was like, are you, are y'all playing? Like, is this, are y'all serious? Or is this just an idea? Like, they were serious, y'all. I was so mad. I was like, are you, are you, like, uh huh? I thought it was going to be a complete remake. I thought Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days was going to get a complete remake. But no, no, they decided to do cutscenes. They decided to do freaking cutscenes that no body liked you hear me no one liked them nobody but that's why i'm here today okay that's why i am here today i'm here today it's your boy young kool-aid um today we're going to talk about why i think kingdom hearts 358 over two days should have got a complete remake over just cutscenes. even to be honest i wanted it on console but it could have even had like just a 3ds remake like a remake in general for the game would have been good or it would have been good to me at least so yeah if you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And in the comment section below, let me know if you think it could have been remade. I think it deserved it, but I mean, hey, everybody has their own opinions. So uh, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below what you think. But uh, yeah, I think it's time for us to go ahead and get into this video. All right, so a little bit of a background, somewhat of a background, I guess you could say. The year, it was 2008, and Kingdom Hearts took its next installment on the handheld route, much like they did with Chain of Memories being on the Game Boy Advance. This time, however, it was with the DS and the new title would be called Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, a side story that followed Roxas through his days throughout the organization. Now, I ain't for the lie, when the game for release, first release, I did know, not know how to pronounce the name, like 358 over two days, 358 divided by two, like I didn't know what was going on, but now I know how to actually pronounce the game. The game had a lot of mixed results because, you know, the story, but also the gameplay, but I blame that part mainly on the DS. The DS is not necessarily a top-tier system, especially compared to a console. I don't think the DS is a bad system at all. I'm just saying, you know, it's not like what you would get on the PS2 with, like, Kingdom Hearts 2 or Birth by Sleep or anything. Again, don't get me wrong, it wasn't bad. In fact, the game wasn't bad either. I enjoyed it, and low-key, I still do. However, most of the fan base didn't share the same feelings as me, sadly, and it's because of this, I thought for sure they would remake the game at some point like they did with Chain of Memories. Chain of Memories didn't necessarily get the most, you know, love either, but when they remade the game, it got a little bit more love, so I was like, alright, maybe 358 will get remade. And when they finally showed the 1.5 HD remix trailer at E3, or the Japanese trailer, I should say, I knew for sure my dream of the remake would finally, finally come true. <laughs> but I was wrong, obviously. They released a second trailer and they, you know, decoded the Japanese text that was in the Japanese trailer and it said cutscenes and I never understood why. To this day, I still don't understand why they decided to do the whole cutscene movie thing instead of just remaking the game. It didn't make sense because the game had popular characters, you know, in Roxas, Axel, and Shion, the new take to the story where you didn't just play a Sora and a few touch-ups to the gameplay that would, you know, obviously happen through upgrading it to console you know moving it from a ds to the console that would make it a perfect remake or that's what i thought at least but square enix obviously didn't think the way i thought 
But it's cool, Square Enix. It's cool. It's cool. You know, I wrote down some points that's gonna make y'all reconsider y'all decision. Gonna make y'all feel real stupid for not remaking the game. But you know, I'ma just go ahead and let that play. You know, y'all decided to make cutscenes that nobody watched, nobody liked. The recoded cutscenes were way better than the 358 over two days cutscenes. Recoded, a game that gets like almost no love, and you telling me that you couldn't have just remade? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna get into that. I'm not gonna get into that. Let's just go ahead and get into the points. So yeah, you know, already the characters are already very popular. You got Roxas and Axel, who on their own are already two of the most popular characters in the Kingdom Hearts universe. And then you have the Shion fan base, who literally does nothing but, you know, just wants her to come back and all that and just begs Namora to add her back into the game. You add all that together and you already have enough fan base to make the remake of the game. Not to mention you have Organization 13 when they have 13 different members, or I guess technically 12 if you don't count Roxas, but they have 12 different members who are all unique in their own sense and people like Organization 13. They're a very cool organization, the black coats and all that, what they do, I mean, you know, the characters, they're there, I don't know what I'm saying, like, and then you add Dark Riku, well he's not technically Dark Riku, but you know he's blindfolded and all that, and you add like a little Dash and Nominate in there, and I I think we're getting somewhere in terms of characters so Square Enix you had the characters man you had the characters Okay, so one extremely prevalent reason why Days gets hate is because of the repetitiveness of the gameplay and the missions. Now, it's going to be tough to fix the missions because they're kind of like a staple in the game, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's real tough for you to fix the missions because then you'd be making a completely new game. But you could change the gameplay to make the missions more fun. Since you're starting from scratch, basically, because you're implementing it from the DS to the PS2, I liked the idea that they had a behind, you know, the combo about um, each keyblade having its own combo. And since you're starting from scratch, you could even add a few commands in there, and you could have a command combo mix where you use, you know, you hit the attack button a few times, and then you press a different button, sort of like you had in Kingdom Hearts 2 a little bit, and you press it again, and then you go with the command deck, and you finish it off with a finisher combo or something like that. I don't know. Just these are just ideas. Like to be honest, like any improvement that they would have would probably just come naturally from the game, you know, being brought over from the DS to the um, like PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 because you know the DS is kind of limited in controls but the PlayStation 4 is not there's a lot more buttons and there's a lot more flexibility so to be honest like any improvement to the gameplay would be uh, you know a step forward in my opinion All right, so this one right here is actually extremely short and simple. The DS isn't necessarily a bad system. Don't get me wrong. In fact, there are games on the DS that actually look pretty good. However, this game can be lacking at times, and that's coming from somebody who actually really, really, truly enjoyed the game. To be honest, just the upgrade, like with the gameplay, an upgrade from the DS to a console would literally just make it instantly better like it would just become a lot better and more appealing so I really don't even have to go any deeper than that to be honest like it's literally the, it's like a face value thing you bring it from the DS to the PlayStation 3 if it doesn't look any better there's a problem but it will most definitely look better so I mean I don't even have to like dwell on this topic anymore on to the next one alrighty so as far as my fourth and final point goes Days was the first Kingdom Hearts game to implement a co-op mode into the series. Even though it was only for local play, when you got to link up with friends and play through missions with such a good selection of characters, it was extremely fun. Like, I had a lot of fun, you know. Now, you couldn't play it that often because, you know, it's only local and I don't see my friends necessarily every day. Especially back then when I couldn't even, you know, get to their house when I wanted to. I was a little kid, man. I couldn't drive. They weren't driving over to my house every day. So, but when they could play at my house with Kingdom Hearts 358, it was always a good time, you know, taking on the tough missions with your friends, because you know, the missions, I think, in mission mode are harder anyways. But like I said, they had a good roster. You can use every member of Organization 13, and Shion, and Sora, and Riku, and Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. You have character choices, like, you had a pretty good choice of characters. I was surprised, you know what I'm saying, like, they had a, they gave you a pretty good roster selection to choose from. They really did. And you, like, you just add that into how online is today, and, like, bruh, you have the roster already. All you have to do is bring the online over, okay? It's way more enjoyable because the roster is so, like, it's not necessarily, like, just deep, but, like, it's got about 18 characters. I mean, that's a pretty good amount, especially since you're only taking forward to the battlefield each and every time. That's a pretty, pretty good amount. And like I said, 
with today's online gaming world, bro, even back when 1.5 was releasing with the PS3, online gaming was a great, great thing, you know, and they could even add new modes. They could add like a squad battle mode, a team race mission mode, and even start the bout tower battle missions as like sort of a gauntlet. You remember those like tower battles, you know, where you fought like the nobodies in the um, organization tower, you know, sort of like the training room. You could add that in to see how far you and your friends can go. Like online was like one of the biggest things that was coming to this game it was only local which sucked but i mean hey you know the ds could only do so much as you know as far as online terms go so i can't really hate that much but implementing it onto console man with all the online capabilities it would have just i promise you it would be successful i promise you especially if you added those new modes man i'm telling you it would be a one man i'm telling you it would be a one but a right i don't what do i know square Enix? you know what i'm saying what do i know but yeah that's my fourth and final point so yes overall this game it had high potential with the move to the console it could you know go from one of the worst like one of the least liked games you know to one of the you know more popular games now you can't really change the story because it's the story of the game you know it wouldn't be a remake if you changed the story it'd be a completely new game which to some people they would probably want that but like they just had so much potential with this game I still never to this day I will never understand why they never decided to end up pushing this game to console I just you know Square just did not see what I saw with the opportunities that this game had instead we got boring cutscenes that were below par and boring like they were just so oh my gosh bro they were just oh man they were not fun at all like they cut out so many fight scenes it was literally just them talking the whole time i didn't even watch it all i'm like bro this ain't even worth my time it ain't, this ain't even worth my time like you know the whole roxas and riku fight they didn't even add anything to that like what like you go watch recoded recoded looks like it'd be a more fun game in days and like you know how recoded is i actually enjoy recoded but i'm not here to talk about that i'm talking about days and like why the whole cutscene thing was a thing i don't know but you know square enix they made that decision i don't work there sometimes i wish i did because if i did this would have happened already but nonetheless i still enjoy kingdom hearts 358 over two days on ds in fact it's still like my favorite kingdom hearts game of all time i love the characters the story and whatnot technically the story doesn't really matter but you know in the whole grand scheme of things but i still really enjoyed the game i just wish that remake would have happened but yeah that's all i've got for today's video it's your man young kool-aid if you enjoyed Hit that like button for you, man. If you didn't enjoy, hit that like button for you, man. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but uh, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of, you know, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Do you think that it should have been you know, a remake game? You know, they did it with Chain of Memories. I don't see why they didn't do it with, you know, Kingdom Hearts uh, 358 over two days. They didn't do it recoded, but that came after anyway. So it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't really matter. But yeah, you have that. And you also have the fact that, you know, Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days was a popular game. But that's that's all I got, man. Just let me know in the comments. You know, did you think there was going to be a remake when that first trailer released? Just let me know. But uh, yeah, also follow me on Twitter. That link will be in the description. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'm going to be doing a whole E3 review when E3 is over about games that I'm kind of excited for and hype for and things like that. But yeah, other than that, I'm out. Goodbye. You know, have a good day. I'm out. Deuces. Peace.